Hi there, this is Dr. Tunis Hunt and welcome to another Hunt for Wellness blog. Today I'm outside enjoying one of my favorite pastimes and that's soaking up the rays. As summer approaches, many of you are going to be doing the same thing, going out by the pool, the lake, the beach, wherever you go to get, get the sunshine. But many of you might be making a mistake with your health by lathering on toxic sunscreen. Yeah, that's what I said, toxic sunscreen. Most people don't realize just how toxic or how many chemicals are laden in those sunscreens. If you've ever looked at a bottle of sunscreen, you'll probably turn it over and see tons of ingredients that are hard to pronounce, things like uh, dioxybenzone or oxybenzone and, and other cancer-causing agents. So when I go out in the sun, you, uh, I don't ever really use sunscreen, actually. Um, in fact, one of the best things you can do for your health is getting uninterrupted uh, sunshine. What I mean by that is allowing the sun to soak into your skin uh, for about 20 to 30 minutes every single day. See what happens when you do that is that it converts the cholesterol in your body into vitamin D. Vitamin D is the most popular uh, vitamin on the market right now as far as preventing heart disease, uh, cancer, and all the other chronic diseases. And many of you may have had your vitamin D levels checked or even taking a vitamin D supplement, but one of the best things you can do is actually just come out and, and uh, enjoy the sunshine. So I encourage you to do that this summer for sure. Um, a lot of people are concerned about skin cancer and they think that lathering on the uh, sunscreen is going to prevent them from that. Well, let me ask you this, why then does so many Middle Eastern countries or Ecuadorian countries, uh, countries by the equator, their populations has very low incidences of uh, cancer or skin cancer, yet they don't wear any sunscreen. And it's not because they're um, special or they got some kind of uh, genetic uh, code that's different than ours. It's just they're not exposed to as many toxins as we are. So it's not the actual sun that's creating the cancer, in my opinion. I believe it's the toxins that we're, in, we're exposed to, one being the sunscreen, the other being the chemicals and the lotions and the di different things we put on our bodies. Did you know the average woman puts on about 515 different chemicals every single day? And so when you go out into the sun, uh, the sun helps detoxify, and so the sun helps bring those toxins to the surface. Well, if you're laden with sunscreen, they can't get out, and so it resonates underneath the, the skin, and then therefore can cause uh, melanomas and other disruptors. So uh, I don't believe it's necessarily the sun that's causing the cancer as much as the toxins that we're, we're exposed to, whether it's our drink, our water, our lotions, our food supplies, you name it. Um, if you're going to be in the sun, however, for a long period of time, I don't recommend you burning. So what you need to do is you need to take a, a, a light uh, shirt or a hat or a blanket or something, cover yourself up if you're going to be out there all day. Um, there are such things as natural sunscreens or safer sunscreens. My family uses them all the time, especially when we go to the beach or if I know I'm going to be at a pool all day long. Uh, I don't maybe want the exposure all day, so I will lather up or put on some natural sunscreen. Uh, zinc oxide or titanium oxide are great uh, minerals that you can be found in, in some natural sunscreens such as coconut oil or aloe vera as well. So I, I highly recommend you find something like that instead of using some of the toxic laden ones that are so prevalent in our society. So. Enjoy this summer, enjoy the sun, soak up the vitamin D, get the healthy skin and, and uh, hair and nails that you need by simply getting the best source of vitamin D, and that's the sunshine. So until next time, this is Dr. Tunis Hunt helping you on your hunt for wellness.